Good day once again, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back again together. We're still looking at that paper from the Mpumalanga province that was written in the prelims recently as a way of just recapping. Of course, as you are preparing for uh, towards your exams, and of course, many of us are preparing uh, for those exams, please don't stop working hard, okay? Right, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please just make sure that you are part of the family. Hey! We want to grow those numbers until they cannot ignore us anymore, right? Okay, and um, uh, for those of you who need assistance with mathematics or physical science, please, uh, you know, don't uh, hesitate to send us an email. And our email address is info at mlungesingosi.co.za. All right, let's get into it. We've got a question here based on uh, um, you know, uh, current and potential difference, okay, and um, that would be Ohm's law, right? So, uh, question nine, they say, learners conduct an investigation to verify Ohm's law, right? They vary the potential difference across a resistor. So, remember, so it means they are going to keep changing the voltage, okay, and they measure the corresponding current through the resistor, okay? They say the data obtained uh, in the graph below is shown rather in the graph below all right so uh, if I look at that graph of course uh, I see that it's a straight line there it means it's obeying Ohm's law but at a point uh, then it starts deviating uh, from Ohm's law of course uh, in that case it means temperature is no longer constant there okay now they say state Ohm's law in words okay I hope that you uh, know it off by heart by now. Uh, it simply says the current across the con a conductor, right, is directly proportional to the potential difference, provided that temperature remains constant. Okay, so they say uh, in 9.2, uh, they say the graph deviates from Ohm's law uh, from point X. Okay, so there it is there. They say write down um, um, write down the potential difference at point X. Uh, so what would be our value? Now remember, in this case, it's increasing at 0 0.5 for the major divisions, okay, uh, on the graph. So it means for the minor divisions, all you need to do is just divide that by 10. Remember, there's 10 of them. So um, in this case, it would mean that it's increasing by uh, 0 0.1 for every two of them. So it's 0 0.05. Uh, uh, so it's 0 0.5 divided by 10, which will be 0 0.05. So for two of them, it would be 0 0.05 times two, which is 0 0.1. So for every two, you are increasing 0 0.1, another two 0 0.1, another two 0 0.1. So you've got, uh, until you've got 0 0.5 there. So we want to know at X, all right? So we want our potential difference at that X value there, okay? So there it is. So that's 1 and 2, okay? So it looks like it is 1.2, okay? So it means our potential difference there would be 1.2 volts, all right? Um, all right, so maybe I just need to write that down. So it means that, um, uh, so for 9.2.1, okay, so the potential difference, oh, in fact, no, man, they said write down the current, no, oh, no, so they, they said the potential difference first, okay, so which was nine, uh, rather 1.2 volts, uh, that's what we got there. And then they said to you, uh, now determine the current, uh, 9.2 rather, uh, 0 0.3, uh, uh, 0 0.2 rather, uh, 9.2.2. What's wrong with me? <laughs> they say write down the current at point X, okay? So again, we're going to read that off the graph. Now look at the divisions there. They're incrementing in terms of, uh, in twos for the major line. So 2 minus 0 would be 2. Uh, divide that by 10, it means it's increasing by 0 0.2 for each uh, uh, division there, right? So at that point there, so that would be 4. 
Um, so it looks like so that would be 4.2, 4.4, Okay, so it's this one over there. Uh, so 4.2, 4.4, 4.6, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19, 4.20, 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.24
um, yeah, I hope it will be the same for the final exam as well. Right, so I hope that you enjoyed that question, all right, and we'll be tackling the next one uh, again next time. All right, please don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, please tell all your friends about the channel, tell them how much you're learning, you know, and uh, why you are suddenly an expert in physics, okay? Right, and I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.